small business owner. We need more small business owners in the legislature, frankly. We need more people who understand what it means to meet a payroll and deal with all the challenges that small businesses face. Small businesses are the job creators. Whether you're in the arts, whether you're in manufacturing, whether you're in clean tech, life sciences, or whether you've got a wonderful movie theater, small businesses are the job creators in the private sector. And when people say to me, how are you going to make something happen? I say, I ask one question of small business owners. What are the roadblocks and barriers you face and how can we in government help remove or lower those roadblocks? Access to capital, technical assistance, help with permitting the regulation. Something you do very well here in Dedham. Because the reason why Dedham has become so business friendly, such a magnet for businesses, small and larger ones. New businesses coming in here, I know one that's coming in here very soon, the old stop and shop <coughs> building, right? At least we think so, is because Dedham has been welcoming and open and accessible. You want new businesses, you want more jobs, you want to create the kind of economic opportunities that people need. But there is one place that we tend to forget, and that's the arts. And when I hear STEAM, when I hear STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, and it's a key ingredient of what we teach our kids, I say, no, 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 it's STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts and math. And I learned that from Barbara, because Barbara has not only been a teacher for 43 years, but she's vice chair of the Mass Cultural Council. She's a full professor at Tufts. She's a theater historian. And we know that the arts have created over 100,000 full-time jobs in Massachusetts. And that's not including all the part-time jobs and all the bed and breakfast and all the other things that go on with the arts. People live in Massachusetts. They come here. They live. They work. They play. And they stay because the arts enrich our lives in so many ways. So uh, I just want to recognize not only Barbara, but also recognize for her leadership, because Deval Patrick, before he was even sworn in, said, Barbara, I want you to be vice chair of the Cultural Council. I need you to be out there every day being an advocate for the arts. She has been an advocate for the arts, and I promised working with Paul McMurtry in the legislature that we will double the funding for the Mass Cultural Council over the next four years, because that's more money for local arts councils, more money for artists in schools, working artists, working with our kids. This is what enriches public education. Look, we've got four days left. 